West Virginia is remembering Carol Willoughby, the founder of St. Francis Service Dogs. Good evening and thanks for joining us for WSLS 10 at 6. The well-known and loved community member passed away Tuesday night after a battle with rheumatoid arthritis. Tonight, the people that Willoughby touched are remembering her for her impact on and inspiration to those living with disabilities. Carol Willoughby was so many things to so many people, but mostly she was an inspiration to people like Lee Brill and her service dog, Piper. She called me her daughter in spirit. I called her my mother in spirit, and I can't think of higher praise than that. Okay, Piper, telephone. Piper is a St. Francis service dog, yes. raised and trained Good to help man. people yes. like Lee with physical Good disabilities. Man. Carol launched St. Francis Service Dogs from her kitchen table in 1996. Today, it's headquartered in Roanoke on an 18-acre training facility that includes a memorial garden, state-of-the-art kennel, and training center with full-time staff. It was the realization of Carol's dream. I think all of us on the board uh, look back at the origin of our agency and the founding uh, of, of the agency by Carol and Carol, although it hasn't been present, she's always present to us and the inspiration that she's always left us has kept us going as a board. Piper Tug. No one is more appreciative or shares Carol's dreams more than Lee Brill, who learned of Carol's passing early this morning. I feel more than anything grateful that she was part of my life and part of so many lives. That is what she set out to do, and that is what she does now, and I know that she's doing that from heaven. Midas, phone. It's hard to explain the effect Carol Willoughby had on people, but it was almost impossible to tell her no. The reason, perhaps, that she saw her dreams realized, and that even after her passing, people are still trying to take her vision to new heights. Now that she's gone, I think the vision might get even broader. Wow. Yeah, Lindsay, I don't see the train for St. Francis slowing down anytime no. soon. No. Of course, many people know that I've been with the organization um, since the very beginning. In fact, mm -hmm. we've got a picture. If you look here, this was 19, I think 1988, and it was the wow. original story with Carol and her service dog, Booker. Uh, and uh, that story got picked up by CNN back wow. then and it got worldwide distribution and people started calling Carol and she told me that was the genesis of what made her decide that other people wanted to know where they could get a service dog because mm -hmm. it was unheard of back then. Well I mean and it just she is a true testament that she has left something better behind. Right. Well, and she really has and so mm -hmm. uh, but it started way back then it took, yeah. took several years by 1996 she started the organization and it's it is still growing today. An entire community remembering so Carol we, Willoughby. We will miss her. She passed away last night in her sleep. Thank you John.